Hello and welcome to 83 West Floyd, Dayton, Ohio. Here I'm standing out in the driveway looking at the front of this home. First thing, very stately looking with the large columns here. Two car attached garage, and this is a corner lot, so it's a pretty big lot here. Nice mature trees, uh, tons of square footage in this house, guys. Wait until you see how big we are here. And we also have a first floor bedroom that can be used and that is hard to find with these two-story houses plus the finished basement a lot to show you on the inside so next let's go inside and take a look before we go inside i wanted to show you something pretty cool here i've only seen this a few times in houses in this price range but we have an outdoor barbecue pit here very very cool large patio and it's very private back here. You could put a overhead awning on here if you so chose to. And as you can see, very private back here. Now, let's go inside and take a look. Now, I know I said we'd just go inside and take a look, but as I'm coming up the front door, I just wanted to show you how cool this is. All the way up there, very grand entrance coming into the house. Now, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here we just came through the front door. The one thing I like about this, it is a double door here. Only normally that one opens, but when you're moving in, plenty of space to move in. And then once you come in, we have ceramic tile on the entry here. A little curve going to our second floor. The living room is to our left. We'll check that out here momentarily. Half bathroom, family room, kitchen, dining room that way. And this is that first floor master bedroom that we can see here. Uh, everything is in good shape. And then look at the size of this room. Big room. Double closets, his and her closets. And I believe that is a security system right there. So nice first floor, hard to find in these two stories. And then coming around the corner here, we have a coat closet right here. This is the door that takes us down to the basement, and this was just remodeled. And a half bathroom, so we've seen one and a half bathrooms so far. Look at that cute little linen closet door right there. And then check out the size of this family room. We do have a bar. It's a little lighter than this in person. That light's wreaking havoc with the camera. I'll walk over to this side of the room. Big fireplace here. This is a wood-burning fireplace. Nice storage with bookshelves on here. There we go. And we're fading in now, but huge room, very, very long. This is an overhang bar here, so you can't have bar stools. And there's even storage behind the bar, and it is a wet bar. Check this out, saloon door. Very, very cool. Looks like we have a storage cabinet and a liquor cabinet up there. You might want to put a lock on that. <laughs> so coming into the kitchen here, have a pantry closet. There's shelves on either side in here. Room for a breakfast table. And then right over here, we do have a full-size dining room. Big wall oven. Looks like a newer dishwasher, cooktop and refrigerator, all of the appliances do stay. Uh, this is a new window that we're looking at right there. So dining room right here, overhead light, so you could put a chandelier on here. And actually I believe all of the first floor windows on this home have been updated. We do have a bifold door there. So backing out of the dining room right there takes us into the living room, so it looks like we have cable right there. And then front window, we have a lot of vegetation here, so very, very private. Get some light back. That's the entry where we just started. And a good size living room as well. So living room, family room, dining room, kitchen, breakfast room, and a first floor master bedroom. And heck, that could be a rec room as well. Next, let's go check out the second floor. All right, so here I just came up to the second floor. One really cool thing is we have a laundry chute right there. Going down the hallway, we have three bedrooms. And we have the guest bathroom right here. So here's the vanity. Plenty of room to make it a double vanity, if you wish. And you might see me in the mirror here. Hello. This is a shower tub. This is all ceramic tile. 
and everything is in good shape on the bathtub there. See down the stairs where we started? Then coming down the hallway, wait till you check out these bedrooms. So we saw one bedroom on the first floor, right? That was a master bedroom. Look, at this is a guest bedroom. Look at how big this bedroom is. A two bifold closet there. This is on the front middle of the home. Gorgeous hardwood floors here. Linen closet. And then third bedroom here, I might have the dimensions different online, but another massive bedroom. This is on the front right of the home. Look how much closet space you have in this one. Two double bifold closet spaces in here. And these are all solid doors as well. So very, very beefy. And then this bedroom here, another good size bedroom, right? This is on the back right of the home. This one I'm gonna walk in because it has a surprise for it. Two double bifold closets here as well. Looks like we have the security system over there. And another bathroom. So if you're keeping count, we've had master bed bathroom on the first floor, half bathroom on the first floor, guest bathrooms, two and a half, three and a half bathrooms, two master bedrooms. So here's our toilet closet or water closet. Another set of closets here. Sink and plenty of room to remodel, put a double sink in here, and then our walk-in shower over there. So just fantastic bedrooms on this home. But wait, we have not seen the basement yet, so let's go check out the basement. I'll meet you down there. All right, so here we just came down to the basement. This was all redone. This is brand new drywall throughout, and then check out the buildings over here. Could make a great office because, I mean, we have a living room and family room, both good sized upstairs, but rec room could put a pool table down here. I'm thinking a uh, big screen TV, like right there, theater room. Um, really could put a bar in. There are all kinds of possibilities. Ping pong table. And then a big unfinished area. This is our laundry room. That water heater is huge. I'm saying, I don't know what size it is but it is a big one. That's gonna probably uh, more than adequate to get you hot water in this house. Furnace doesn't look too old. Murray panel box there. That is breakers. There's our mud sink. Washer and dryer, and those, those can stay. And look at this workshop down here. Huge, and all of these slide open. Drawers over there, fantastic basement tons of entertaining space this would make a great home for your family so if you have any questions or if you'd like to see it in person feel free to give us a call or give your realtor a call i'm sure they'd be happy to show it to you um, a couple last things these are accent lights up here and there's some lights i did not turn on underneath here as well and that little bench right there is covering up the water meter so that's the water meter and they don't have to come in to read it they can typically zap it with electronically from the street. So fantastic home. I'm glad you watched and we look forward to talking with you. Thanks for watching.